The National Press Foundation took journalists inside Monsanto's research labs to see how biotech is changing agriculture. Today, 18 million farmers grow biotech crops in 28 nations. GMOs are created by incorporating a new gene or trait into a plant. Researchers are constantly trying to create new plants to fend off pests and weeds and disease. The papaya that's grown in Hawaii is a fantastic example of that and I think there's a ton of potential with other crops like oranges and bananas and other crops to use that technology as well. Molecular scientists like Jonathan Phillips have isolated 50,000 plant genes. A seed chipper notches a tiny piece of seed that is then genotyped or profiled by its DNA. Each seed chip is barcoded and tracked through the testing process. A medium called agrobacterium transfers the new DNA into a plant. Growth chambers the size of a small room are used to replicate farming conditions almost anywhere in the world. One chamber might be 90 degrees in July in Missouri. Another might be a chilly spring day in Montana. The next step is greenhouses, another way to control the environment. Then plants are tested for four to five years under different soil and climate conditions at 120 research farms around the world. I've done this for 25 years. The only thing that's changed actually on this bag is the, the colors. And it just helps the breeders know what day a cross was actually made. Monsanto collects a million data points from around the world each day to evaluate new plants. It takes more than a decade of research and $130 million in R&D to create one new biotech seed. After all that research, Monsanto launched just five new products last year.